If you're considering Intel's Core Ultra 9 285K, it's not the top gaming chip, but it shines in productivity, efficiency, and multi-threaded workloads. Since it runs on the new LGA 1851 socket with 800 series chipsets, you'll need the right motherboard. After thorough research, we've narrowed it down to the three best boards for performance, value, and long-term reliability. First, for the best budget motherboard for the 285K, we have the ASRock Z890 Pro A motherboard. For those of you who want to squeeze out every last bit of performance from the Ultra 9 285K without draining your wallet, the ASRock Z890 Pro A is where I'd point. It's one of the most affordable Z890 boards that still manages to hold its own against far more expensive alternatives in the features that actually matter for this chip. You get a strong 16 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 power phase delivery, including DR MOS stages for vCore and GT, full support for DDR5 overclocking, and even PCIe 5.0 for your GPU, so you aren't left compromising on much. Compared to older Z790 or lower-end B680 boards, the ASRock Z890 stands out as the better choice for the 285K. The reason is that those older options either fall behind on power delivery or skip next-gen features entirely. Even among Z890 boards, few offer this kind of I.O. at this price. Wi-Fi 7 is absent and the audio solution uses an outdated chip, but you do get 2.5 gig LAN, USB 4 support, Bluetooth 5.3, and a Thunderbolt 4 port. Now, with a budget board, you don't get it all. This isn't a pick for RGB heavy builds or serious overclocking. It's more for users who just want stable performance, next-gen compatibility, and a reliable platform for the 285K. Boards like the MSI Pro Z890S also compete in this budget range, but they often trade off too much VRM strength or PCIe 5.0 support, which are non-negotiables for the 285K. To sum up, what I like is the excellent power delivery and the PCIe 5.0 GPU support and DDR5 tuning. On the downside, it lacks premium aesthetic touches and no heavy overclocking capabilities. Before we continue to my pick for the best premium motherboard, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribing, or even with a comment so that I know if you like it or if there's something I can do to improve next time. I promise it costs nothing, just a few seconds. Moving on, my pick for the best premium motherboard for the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K is Asus ROG Strix Z890A Gaming Wi-Fi. Opposed to our budget pick, if you're building a high-end rig, you want the most premium components. For the motherboard, the Asus ROG Strix Z890A Gaming Wi-Fi gives you the kind of quality and reliability you only get from top-tier gear. It packs all the high-end features you'd expect, wrapped in a sleek silver-black aesthetic that looks great in both dark-themed builds and RGB-heavy setups. And with a power-hungry CPU like the 285K, it backs it all up with robust VRMs and an excellent thermal design that seals the deal. In terms of specifications, you're getting a robust 16 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 power solution, plenty of AI features, DDR5 support, an NPU boost, and Gen 5 compatibility for both the GPU and the primary M2 slot. It also includes Wi-Fi 7, Thunderbolt 4, and a whole lot more. But what really sets it apart is ROG's renowned BIOS, packed with everything you need to configure, tune, and tweak your rig. It makes overclocking the 285K straightforward and easy whether you're experimenting with AI-assisted tuning or undervolting to manage thermals. Of course, you could spend more on something like the MSI Meg Z890 Ace, but the Strix Z890A is much easier to work with, especially for beginners, and still gives you all the premium bells and whistles. You get excellent fan control, high-speed I.O., robust cooling, and plenty of headers for RGB and case accessories. Among premium motherboards in its class, the Asus ROG Strix Z890A Gaming Wi-Fi truly stands out from the competition. To sum up, what I like are the great VRMs and heatsinks for serious loads, the excellent I.O. setup with plenty of high-speed options, and the user-friendly layout and easy-to-use BIOS. On the downside, only one Gen 5 M2 slot. Finally, my top choice is the Gigabyte Z890 Eagle Wi-Fi. For most users looking for a motherboard for the 285K that sits right between the premium and budget picks, the Gigabyte Z890 Eagle Wi-Fi 7 hits that sweet spot. 
It's priced comfortably below high-end options like the Strix or RS Master, yet still delivers nearly all the features you'd want. It nails the fundamentals for this high-end CPU, offering stable power delivery and efficient thermal handling, while also adding useful extras. The best part about this motherboard is how well-rounded everything feels. It features full Wi-Fi 7, PCIe Gen 5 support, fast USB ports, and a layout that doesn't feel cramped. On the power side, it's equipped with a digital twin 14 plus 1 plus 2 phase VRM solution, backed by solid cooling and enough headroom for boosts and sustained multi-core loads. That makes it a great match for the 285K's higher base TDP and extended PL2 behavior under demanding tasks like encoding or rendering. That being said, there are a few competitors this board goes up against, like the Asus Tough Gaming Z890 Plus, but the Z890 Eagle holds up remarkably well, often outperforming in areas like Wi-Fi performance, VRM cooling, and I.O., all while coming in at a lower or equal price. Unless you're after a very specific feature like dual Gen 5 M2 slots or Thunderbolt support, this board makes the most sense for anyone using the 285K in a high-performance yet cost-conscious build. To sum up, what I like are the balanced VRMs with reliable power delivery, the beginner-friendly design with a clean, easy layout, and the integrated Wi-Fi 7. On the downside, the overall design feels like a bit of a compromise.